Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Tom Ogumi, and today we are back with another statue tutorial on the second channel. Today we are doing Fredbear from FNAF World. So, a while back I did the Nightmare Fredbear on the main channel from Five Nights at Freddy's 4. And it was a really crazy statue, tons of detail, takes ages. Uh, this one's a lot simpler, a lot cleaner, and a lot more to the FNAF World model, which is very small and clean and basic. Um, so hopefully you enjoy that, it'll be a lot shorter tutorial because of that, uh, which is both good for me and you. Um, you don't have to listen to my voice for any longer, and I don't have to burn my voice out. Um, but yeah, hopefully you do enjoy. If you do, let me know down in the comments below, or leave a like. If you have any constructive criticism, feel free to drop it down below as well. I really do appreciate that. And if you have enjoyed my content and the stuff I do on my channel, then definitely consider subscribing um, to this one and my main channel. I do two videos a week on this channel, which is one tutorial and one random video, and also two on my main channel, which is just purely tutorial. So I'll leave a link to all that down in the description, and uh, hopefully you'll check it out. With that said and done, thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you in the tutorial. Okay guys, so the blocks you'll need to build this statue are the following. You'll need yellow stained clay, black wool, block of gold, grey wool, purple wool, magenta wool, block of quartz, cyan wool, and light blue wool. So if you want to grab them blocks into your inventory, that'll be great. And also if you want to grab a map, uh, that's kind of handy too. If you're on PC, don't worry about the map, you can just simply press F3. And I'll explain all in good time the reasons behind the use of the map and how it can make your life so much easier. Um, so hopefully you'll get into the routine of using it because it's really, really awesome. But enough rambling about the map. If you have these in, uh, blocks in your inventory, we are ready to start. So we're gonna start with the legs. In fact, the front of the legs to be more specific. The front of the legs is 12 tall, eight wide. So essentially we're gonna do 12 layers of eight um, blocks. So the first layer is simply starting in any place you want going to place one black wool. Next to that we're going to place one yellow stained clay, black wool, yellow. So right now it should be four wide and we're then going to go ahead and mirror it. So it's one yellow, black wool, yellow, black wool. So it should look like this. Again that's eight wide and it's mirrored. So black wool, yellow, black wool, yellow, yellow, black wool, yellow, black. We're going to go ahead and do that once more on top because the first two layers are the exact same. So again, it's two layers of that. Essentially, you get the idea now, we're gonna build up 10 layers on top of this and that'll be the legs complete. So the third layer, and in fact the fourth layer, is simply eight yellow stained clay. It's very, very simple, very plain, and the majority of this in itself is very easy, so it shouldn't be too difficult, as long as you pause uh, whenever you fall behind a tiny bit and catch up in the pause opportunities, then you should be fine. So the fifth layer is eight black wool. The sixth, seventh, and eighth layer is yellow stained clay. Next, what you're going to do is this is slightly more complicated, but not too um, not too complicated. We're going to place three yellow, two black, and three yellow. So now what we're doing with this black wool here is we're kind of making like the pelvis um, part of the animatronic um, suit or the endoskeleton should I say um, so it's kind of like a V shape or a U shape um, and it's where the pelvis uh, meets the body so what we're doing now is we're going to place two yellow one black two yellow black two yellow so as you can see the black wall is kind of now turning into a V or U shape as I said the eleventh layer and second to last layer for now is two black four yellow two black and the twelfth and final layer is one black, six yellow, and one black. So once you've done that, it looks something like this, and that is a 12 by 8 rectangle. Now if you want to pause here, this would probably be a good opportunity to do so, um, as this is the front of the legs. And just to prove to you again why we're going to be using the map, you can see here my floor level in this case is Y5. Your might be, uh, yours might be slightly different, so I definitely recommend you check yours before taking this advice. Um, for example, if yours is Y10, then you want the top of this to be Y22. Mine's Y5, so I want it to be Y17. There you go, Y17. Easy way to check that things are correct. Um, and again, if you're on PC, simply press F3 and it will work just the same. So again, that's the front of the legs complete. This would be a good time to pause, 
if you're ready to move on, then let's do so. So what we're then going to do is on top of this black wall on either side we're going to place one yellow stained clay. On the left side we're going to go one, two, three, four over to the left and on the right side we're going to do the exact same, one, two, three, four. Now essentially that just marks out where the hands start and we won't worry about that for now, we'll come back to that later on in the video uh, but it just saves us having to come back later on in the video and mark it out. It's already marked out, now we know where it goes, uh, we're just going to worry about the body for now. So, speaking of the body, in between this yellow stained clay here, what we're going to do is place one either side, and that leaves us with a four block gap in the middle. In said four block gap, we're going to place four gold blocks, like so. We're then going to go up diagonal to the left, and up diagonal to the right. And on top of these, we're going to go up six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six on this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're then going to go up diagonal on either side inwards like so, if I can place it that would be, and we're going to connect them by placing two in the middle and it gives you something that looks like this, it's an O shape essentially, a zero. So theoretically it's nine blocks tall and six blocks wide if you include the corners, uh, without the corners it's seven tall and four wide. So what we're going to go ahead and do now is fill this solid, like inside the zero, um, using gold blocks and that will be the center point of the chest complete and then it's just a case of building around it. So as you can see that's what it looks like so far and as I said what we're going to do now is build around it. So what we're going to do here is on this yellow stained clay right here above this black wall we're going to go up 11. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Same on this side we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We're then, on top of the gold blocks, we're going to go up 4, and on this side 4, and in the middle 3 rows, it's up 3 blocks on each one, like so, and that is the body, which is 12 by 8. So, you may ask why the uh, chest area of the body is slightly off-centered in the part that it's lower down and it doesn't go up to the top as much, and that's because we're going to add a bow tie later on, um, but for now, this is what it should be looking like. If you want to pause, you are more than welcome to do so. And uh, just to prove to you again, this is 24 blocks off of the floor. Again, Y5, this should be Y29. There you go. As you can see on screen right now, that is Y29. And again, for you, it should be 24 blocks off of floor level. Okay, so just to add some detail now before we move on, what we're going to do is first off add the bow tie and then we'll add the buttons. So for the bow tie, you're going to need purple wool and magenta wool. What we're going to do is come to the top row of the gold blocks here, and on the left side we're going to place one purple, and we're going to do the exact same on the right side. We're going to join these up by placing two in the middle, and then we're going to go up diagonal to the left and up diagonal to the right. It should look like this. Or well, then, in between them, we're going to place one magenta, and on the left side we're going to place a row of three purple, and we're going to do the exact same on the right side, one, two, three. And it gives you a shape which looks like this, and that is our bow tie. Again, it's purple on the outside, and then one magenta on either side in the center. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add the buttons. So you come to this center block here, or the center two blocks, you can find that by going one, two, three, and the fourth and fifth block are the two center ones. We're going to come to the two yellow stained clay below the bow tie, and we're going to go down one more row. So we've got the first two um, blocks of the gold, and on the second row, so this is the second from top row of gold, in the center two blocks, we're going to place two black wool. This is on top, not into on top, so it's a 3D effect. Then what we're going to do is on the left side, we're going to go down using one black, and in the corner, we're going to use one gray. Below this, we're going to leave a row, and we're going to replicate that, so we're going to place two black. On the left side, we go down one, and then on the right side, we place one gray, and that is the buttons complete, and that is the body complete. That is all the detail you need to add, and uh, it's very, very simple, but looks super, super effective in my opinion. Uh, but again, I might be a tad biased, so let me know down in the comments below what you like about it. Um, in fact, any changes you would make as well, that would be super awesome to hear from you guys. Um, but yeah, with that said, that's the body complete, and we're now going to move on to the front of the arms. So, for the front of the arms, and this is why we marked them out earlier, because we don't have to count now, perks of not counting. Um, the arms are 12 tall and 4 wide. We've got the first row of each one done, so we're only going to have to build 11 layers, um, and we're going to start on the left arm first. So for the left arm, we've got this layer of four yellow stained clay. On top of that, we're going to replicate it twice more, so we've got three layers of four yellow stained clay. As I mentioned, the arms are four wide. 
Um, so, as you see, one, two, three, four. The fourth layer of the left arm is four black wool. That's a lot of fours. On top of that, we're going to place three layers of yellow stained clay. On top of that, we're going to place a layer of four black wool. And on top of that, four layers of yellow stained clay. So, that will bring you up to the same height as the top of the body. And just to go over it one last time, we've got three layers of yellow, one layer of black, three layers of yellow, one layer of black, and four layers of yellow. And that makes a 12 by 4 rectangle. Now, the right arm is the exact same. So, if you want to pause here and replicate this on the other side, you are more than welcome to do so. Um, but if you want me to go over it one last time, just in case, I will anyways. So, uh, feel free to listen. So, for the right arm... We're going to scoot on over to here. Of course, we've got the first layer. We're going to place two more blocks on top, or two more rows, should I say, on top of yellow stained clay. We're then going to place a row of black wool, three rows of yellow stained clay, a row of black wool, and then four rows of yellow stained clay. Once you've done that, that is the arm complete. And again, it's a 12 by 4 consisting of three layers of yellow, one layer of black, three layers of yellow, one layer of black, and four layers of yellow. So, once you've done that, you should be presented with something that looks like this. This is the front of the body complete and the front of the statue in general complete. Uh, but the one problem we have is it's looking a bit pixel -arty. It's 2D. Ignoring the bow tie and the buttons, of course, it's 2D. Um, so, what we're going to do is now make it 3D and start turning it into a skin statue. So, the way we're going to do this is go around to the left side of the statue. And we're going to come to the bottom left corner where this black wall is. And we're going to go one, two, three to the left using yellow stained clay. So we're doing the sides of the legs here. These are 12 by 4. However, we have got this row here done already. Um, so we're only going to place three blocks on each row and that will turn it into a 12 by 4. If you built four to the left, it would make it a 12 by 5. So hopefully you understand that. Uh, we're only going to be placing three blocks because we've already got this one complete. So the first four layers is simply yellow stained clay. Then we've got a row of three black wool. Then we have five layers of yellow stained clay, a row of black wool, and then the twelfth and final row is one black wool and two yellow stained clay. So it should give you something that looks like this, where it goes black wool, two yellow, black wool. And that is a 12 by 4. So the other side is the exact same, just replicated. So we're going to scoot on around to here, and we're going to go over it. So from this black wall here, we go one, two, three to the right. And on top of that, we do three layers and bring it up to here. On top of that, we do a row of three black wool. Then we have five layers of yellow stained clay, a layer of black wool. And then we could do two yellow stained clay and one black wool. Again, that's the right side, the exact same as the left side. Um, but it's pretty self-explanatory and shouldn't take too much time to do. Um, so hopefully you all understand it. Again, as I always say, and I do know that I labour on about this quite a lot in all my videos, but if you ever do have an issue or are ever struggling um, with any part of the video, then let me know down in the comments below, and I'll try to reply to you as soon as possible and give you some more personalised support. Uh, again, bear in mind I'm one person, so if I don't reply straight away or I do miss your comment, feel free to comment again if it's been a few days, and uh, remind me, and that will, of course, remind me. So, uh, yeah. So, with that said, what we're now going to do is the arms. But what we need to do first is make the bottom of the arm. So what we're going to do is come around to the back of the statue, which I've done now. And we're going to come to the bottom of the hand. So the first layer of the yellow stained clay. We're then going to go one, two, three, backwards all the way across. And that will give you two 4x4 four four squares, as you can see here. That's the bottom side of the right arm. And we do the same on the left arm. So we go one, two, three, all the way across. And that gives you two 4x4 four four squares. So, once we've got the bottom complete, now what we can do is start working on the actual side. So again, as I said before, it is a 12 by 4 however we've got this first row complete. So we're only placing 3 blocks on each row, and then we've got this row done as well. So we're only placing 11 layers. So the first 3 layers is yellow stained clay, so we've got the first one done, the second layer and the third layer. The fourth layer is free black wool, and again it should match up with the block at the side, so that's a pretty easy way to tell if you're doing it correctly. Next three layers is yellow stained clay, a layer of black wool, and then four layers of yellow stained clay. So essentially it's the exact same as the front side, um, just transferred around to the left side. 
So again, that's three layers of yellow stained clay, one layer of black wool, three layers of yellow, one layer of black wool, four layers of yellow, and again, that equals a 12 by four. Um, and we're gonna go around to the right side now and replicate that on here. So on the right side, again, I don't know if I need to say it again, but I'll say it anyways, is the 12 by four. We've got this first um, row complete. So we only have to place three blocks on each row. So the first three rows, again, is yellow stained clay. We've got a row of black wool, three rows of yellow stained clay, a row of black wool, and then four rows of yellow stained clay. Again, that equals a 12 by four rectangle, and that is the right side of the arm complete. Okie dokie, so now it's kind of turning into a bit more of a statue. It's starting to look a bit nicer and a bit more complete. However, if you come around to the rear side of the statue now, you'll notice there's a big gap. And that's what we're going to work on filling in now. So starting off at the bottom with the legs, what we're going to do is simply in between. Again, I'm going to go over the fact that it is a 12 by 8. Um, we're going to place six blocks of yellow stained clay in the middle. The reason why we're doing that is because, of course, we've got a row on the side and we've got a row on the right side as well. So on this time, we're only placing six blocks on each row, and that will make a 12 by 8. Um, so again, starting off with the one we already did, we're going to place four layers on top of that. So five layers, um, or sorry, four layers in total. Um, so one, two, three, four, as you can see, of yellow stained clay. The fifth layer is black wool, so six black wool. Then we do four layers of yellow stained clay, or um but on the fourth layer, what we're going to do is we're going to place two yellow, place two black, two yellow, like so. So as you can see, again, three layers of yellow stained clay. But on the fourth, we're going to place two yellow, then place two black, and then two yellow. The next layer is one yellow, one black wool, two yellow, one black wool, one yellow. The second to last layer is one black wool, four yellow, one black wool. And the final, last but not least layer is 6 yellow. So that equals a 12 by 8 rectangle, as you can see here. Again, just going over it one last time. It's 4 layers of yellow, 1 layer of black, 3 layers of yellow, uh, 2 yellow, one black, uh, 2 black, 2 yellow, and then 1 yellow, 1 black, 2 yellow, 1 black, 1 yellow, and 1 black, 4 yellow, 1 black, and then 6 yellow. So apologies if I uh, confuse anyone a tad there with all the yellows and the blacks. Um, it's a lot, it's a mouthful, uh, but as you can see here, it's pretty easy to replicate if you just uh, pause here and take a bit of time. So if you want to do that, you are more than welcome. Um, and we're now going to move on to the back of the arms. So the reason why I'm doing the back of the arms and not the back of the body yet is because the back of the arms has more detail, which probably says something about the uh, back of the body. There's not much to it. So, for the back of the right arm, or our left in this case, what we're going to do, again, it's 12 by 4, first row complete, so we're only placing three blocks, is three layers of yellow stained clay, layer of black wool, three layers of yellow stained clay, layer of black wool, and then four layers of yellow stained clay. Again, that's a 12 by 4. And on the right one, we're going to do three layers of yellow stained clay, layer of black wool, three layers of yellow stained clay, layer of black wool and then four layers of yellow stained clay so for the back of the body now which is of course a 12 by 8 it's simply just yellow stained clay so all we're going to do is just build up 12 all the way across and we're going to do that over and over again um, eight times so again just building up 12 and working our way across and it will fill in all the gaps and make things nice and complete so three more layers left that's the second um, to last layer done now and the final layer there we go so again 12 by 8 that's simply yellow stained clay and that's very very plain very very simple so before we move on to the head now what we're going to do is go ahead and fill the shoulders in up here using pure yellow stained clay um, and that is then the main body of the statue complete and if you can see over there We've got a diamond minecart statue. If you want to see a tutorial for that, I'll leave a link in the uh, description. And that's on the new um, server channel that we launched, Frosted Network, which has been doing really, really well. It's up to 1,000 subscribers in two weeks. Um, so hopefully you'll check it out. Again, that's kind of like a little promotion, little plug in the middle of the video. Um, but I thought, seeing as it's in the background, you might as well um, have a little talk about it. 
So yeah, as you can see, that is the body complete. I'll get rid of my arm. We're going to have a little um, spin around, have a little look at it, and then we'll move on. So again, a little bit about it. It's 24 blocks tall, 16 wide, 8 wide if you're not including the arms, and it's also 4 blocks thick. So this is the front side. We've got the front of the legs, which is 12 by 8. The front of the body, which is 12 by 8 with the 3D effects, including the bow and the buttons. And then we've got the front of each arm, which is 12 by 4. Coming around to the left side, we have the left side of the leg, which is 12 by 4. We have the left side of the arm, which is 12 by 4. We have the right side of the leg, which is 12 by 4. We have the right side of the arm, which is, you guessed, 12 by 4. Coming around to the rear side of the statue, again, 24 blocks tall. 12 by 8 for the legs, 12 by 8 for the body, and 12 by 4 for the back of each arm. The top of the statue is 16 by 4, that is the shoulders. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you have something that looks like this. So we have Fredbear's body done. What is Fredbear missing? Of course he is missing his head. So that is what we're going to do now. So make sure at the front side of the statue, the side with the bow tie and the buttons, and we're going to go over to the left side now. And to this point here, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And on the fifth block, we're going to place a yellow stain clay and bring it to forwards. We're going to do the exact same now on the right side. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And on the fifth block, we're going to place a yellow stain clay, bring it to forwards. We're then, in between these, going to place a row of 6 yellow stained clay times 2. So that gives you an 8 by 2 overhang. Um, and that is the front part of the head complete. We're now going to come around to the side. And we're going to expand it backwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on each side. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we're going to do what we did at the side um, on the front side, should I say. Which is link them together and give us an 8 by 2 overhang. But more importantly, what that does is that gives us an 8x8 square, which is the base and template of the head. And from here, we can work out the face, left side, right side, and rear side of the head. Um, and we're going to start on the front side in this occasion, which is, of course, the face. So, for the face, or the front side, again, it's the side with the bow tie and the buttons. The first layer is simply 8 yellow stained clay. The second layer is 1 quartz, 6 black wool, 1 quartz... The third and fourth layer is eight yellow stained clay. The fifth layer is one yellow, one quartz, one cyan, one, uh, two yellow, one cyan, one quartz, one yellow. The next layer, we'll need our light blue wall, so let's grab that onto our hot bar. We'll need one yellow, one quartz, one light blue, two yellow, one light blue, one quartz, one yellow. The seventh layer is one yellow, two black, two yellow, two black, one yellow. And the eighth and final layer is eight yellow stained clay. So right now it's looking a bit like Mr. Zippy. Um, if you remember who he is, it's a really old character from a TV show, which I can't quite remember. If anyone knows, let me know down in the comments below. Um, I'll probably look after um, the video who it was. I, it's it's going to bug me now who that, uh, what Mr. Zippy was from. Um, but yeah, it kind of looks a bit like him. Um, but what we're going to do is fix it up. We don't want it looking like that. So we're going to add a mouth and a nose. We kind of already have a mouth, but this is kind of like the back plate for it. But anyways, again, that's an 8x8 square. Um, and that's like the main part of the face. Now what we're going to do is add 3D effects to make it look a tad nicer. So for the 3D effects, what we're going to start off is at the bottom layer, we're going to leave a block and then we're going to place six yellow stained clay and then leave one on the right side as well. That is the bottom layer of the mouth. For the second layer, what we're going to do is on top, we're going to place one quartz, leave a block, place two quartz, leave a block, one quartz. On top of that, we're going to place six gold blocks. And on top of that, for the fourth and final row, we're going to place two um, gold two black and two gold and that is the mouth the 3d effect for the mouth is six wide and four tall and looks something like this so now what we're going to do now we've done the front is go around to the sides and build everything up and make it look complete so we're going to come around to the left side and simply all we're going to do is on the base plate we're going to build up seven um, all the way around so it gives us an eight by eight square so we're building up seven so it's eight in total um if you haven't built the base plate already, then build up 8. 
So it's eight tall, eight wide, and that gives us an eight by eight square of yellow stained clay minus this one block of quartz here. Just imagine this is yellow stained clay, uh, but it's not because it's quartz, of course. So coming around to the rear side of the statue, we're just gonna continue building up seven all the way around. And we're gonna do this on the right side of the head as well. So the other sides of the head, of course, have no detail because it's very, very plain like um, character model in FNAF World of Fredbear. He's very, very simple. Uh, very much kind of like a mini Freddy um, where there's no like cracks or no details or no withering. It's simply just a yellow, almost Golden Freddy-like character that has purple bow tie and purple hat. So again, this is the right side, which is of course 8x8, the rear side, which is 8x8, and the left side, which is, you guessed, 8x8 of yellow stained clay. For the top side of the head, um, we're simply going to fill it in solid using our yellow, and then we'll go about adding the ears and the hat and finishing off this tutorial. So, this is what it looks like without the ears and the hat. You can see it looks a bit weird. He looks a bit like a seal. I don't know why I always made that comparison, but it just reminds me of a seal for some reason. Um... So what we're going to do is go to the top side of the statue again, or the top side of the head. We're going to leave not one, but two blocks. So on the third block, we're going to place a yellow on the left side. We go to the left one and down one. And on the right side, we replicate this. So we leave two blocks. On the third one, we place a yellow. Go to the right one, down one. And that's three blocks on each side, and that's both ears. So that's what it looks like with the ears. Of course, the ears are made out of yellow stained clay. For the hat, we're going to use purple wool, and what we're going to do is in between the ears, we're going to leave a one block gap, place four purple, and then we have a one block gap on the right side as well. We're then going to expand it backwards, one, two, three, to the left, or to the right, sorry, one, two, three, and then forwards, one, two, and that makes a four by four square. Now, you'll know you've positioned it correctly because there should be a two block gap on either side of the uh, hat, and in the middle, we're going to fill it in with purple, so that's a four by four of purple. In the center two blocks, we're going to place a 2x2 two two on top of purple wall. And that gives us something that looks like this, a little mini purple top hat. And that is Fredbear complete. Fredbear from FNAF World in Minecraft. So hopefully you enjoyed this. And if you did, definitely consider leaving a like. Again, if you don't have something that looks like this, then go back in the video, see where things haven't gone quite to plan, and uh, work from there. Again, if you need any further help, then let me know down in the comments below. I'm always willing to... Uh, try and help you guys out and if you have enjoyed this again please consider subscribing to my second channel i've been doing weekly tutorials on here as well as bonus mini game videos um, which have been a bit delayed due to all the incidents on the main channel which have been explained in the video which i'll also link below um but yeah check out the main channel i'll also link that where i do two weekly tutorials that's like my tutorial channel and this is my like gaming random mini game stuff channel uh that's a bit of a mouthful but yeah that's pretty much it thank you very much for watching until next time my name's been tom Magomi and goodbye eyes in the sky gazing far into the night i raise my hand to the fire but it's no use because you can't stop it from shining through it's true Baby, let the light shine through If you believe it's true Baby, won't you let the light shine through